Hello, dearest YouTuber, dearest information looker, or something like that. So here I am with a small tutorial about how to use uh, this kind of keyboard you see in front of you, uh, with uh, uh, how to program it, and then after that I will give a small tutorial how to work with campuses uh, in this tutorial. So this this keyboard has 66 uh, buttons. So you can find it on AliExpress or something like that. Uh, there are a lot of suppliers. Should be around 60, 50. I should say about between 40 and 70 euros, so or, or 40 and 70 dollars or something like that. So, so here it has 66 keys. Uh, there are some spare keycaps delivered with um, a small tool to to take off the keycaps. There is a key for for to, to program in different layers or something like that. Um, and here is um, a USB to RJ45 cable uh, delivered with. So the RJ45 is going uh, in the back side of the keyboard, uh, and then it's just plug it in USB slot on your PC or something like that. So that's uh, about the keyboard. It has a card reader function, but I'm not using it, so I, I'm not going into detail about that because uh, I don't have experience with that. And you have different colors, so under the keycaps, you can put a label and uh, uh, put your own logo or, or or your shortcuts or anything. So in my case, that's this is what I've done. So uh, it's for campuses. So. I, I put here clear button backspace. Here are my functions. Here are all my windows, my pages. There I have uh, some shortcuts. Uh, these are just numerics. Uh, and then here to to my navigation. And then here my my uh, light properties actually. So my group properties: intensity, position, color, fx beam. And then here this is about the windows. Um, uh, I'm popping up so uh, I can close a window it, I go can make the minimum maximum uh, change the size uh, uh, force them on my external screen and I go to my next button which is a uh, uh, window which was open so that's uh, what I did so uh, right now I'm uh, coming back to the software about this um, the system so when you have your keyboard then you uh, have software delivered with it so it's in chinese so it's a little bit of pain in the ass uh, to, to do some translation but uh, i figured out some the main things so that's uh that should do it so this is to read this button is to read from your keyboard this button is to write to your keyboard. So if you have compiled something, you can uh, you can you can also save it and write it to your keyboard. So after you after uh, after you have written it to your keyboard, you don't need the software anymore running. So the 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 functionality is on the keyboard, so it stays there. Then here is to open a project which you have made so i can open in my case i made already something like that but and here you can save your project you can give it a different name or something like that so that's to save it this button is to close it these two buttons they have to do with the card reader but i'm not uh into that and these buttons are for the slot functions so they are labeled one to six, and on the pro on the keyboard is uh, lock, op, x, s, z, and program. But I'm I don't know really what uh, what it's doing, so I'm not using it anyway. Then here are all your buttons. So uh, you have 66 buttons in total. Uh, also for the buttons like zero dot one two three four five six seven eight nine, you can also put a label behind these ones. So uh, when you have, would like to program a button, you have just have to push any button you want, like this. This is zero. So 
when you like to change something, change a value, I think original is one, two, one, three, one, four, uh, and then it's a whole, it's a whole, ro uh, a four-digit number. So you can uh, click in the window, press delete. So this button means delete, or it's actually a backspace, uh, and then you can give it a different function. For example, you can uh, give it all the the key names here, but when you do like to do a combination of keys or, or uh, then you can push this one and then you say for example control you push control you see control is still pushed you press C and then release control and then you say save so uh, here for example it's just a dot so but here you can see control C release control so that's actually this button when you after you uh, write it to your keyboard when i push button that button it will say control c so you 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 could copy something and 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 then maybe you can program this button with uh, control v and then it's pasting the value so instead of pushing four buttons you can just push two buttons so also, you can you can do uh, when I go in normal mode, you can do uh, a whole bunch of numbers. I think it's limited with 155 or something. And for example, you can put your email address uh, in here and then save. So every time when you push this button, let's say this is your email address, then your email address is. Uh, you, you fill in your email address or something like that. And you can put a label, label behind the button, and then you um, you can can you have clear interface. So I just put it back to zero, and then I I don't have to push enter here because then I always say zero enter, but it's not necessary. It's just zero. So so in this case I can write it to my keyboard are you sure you want to write it to your keyboard i say yes and then it say oh everything is okay so that's it so when i open uh, my notepad there is already some something here but um, i go with enter and then i say zero dot one two three four five six seven eight nine so for the camp for for campus users and they are interested uh you can so that's this one uh, you can uh, ask me i will i will i will supply you the 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 uh, settings on the campus so you have to load the settings because um some keys are they connected with uh, macros like this is a macro this is a macro i think i am using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. About sixteen macros. So and uh, the other ones they are the shortcuts. So when I I have the keyboard mode, so then I can use my keyboard and the non macro buttons. Uh, and the macro buttons, the macros are working always, but uh, the the program keys are not working when you are in keyboard mode, so um, that's that's generally it. You you, you can, can do the whole programming thing without using a a, a normal keyboard, but uh, because you have the on touch screen keyboard, but um, some sometimes I would like to use a keyboard as well. So that's when I use uh, I can switch between programming and keyboard. So that this for so. Uh, also, I can provide you the my settings and uh, the file in the software to uh, then you can open my file and then you load it in your keyboard and then after that you can um, uh, load on campus my settings and then you're set you it's plug and play and, and ready to go so thank you for for your time thank you for your interest uh, 
when you have questions, please feel free to ask. I will be happy to answer and uh, uh, see you in another video. Bye bye.